Hello, 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 queens. I'm back with another client tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I created this look. And without further ado, we're just jumping straight into the video. I'm starting this tutorial off by cleaning my model's face. Now that her face is clean, I'm going to go ahead and start on her eyebrows. So I'm taking my Nika K eyebrow pencil and this one is in the shade black brown. And I'm using this to outline her eyebrows. Now that both of the brows have been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in. To fill in the front of her eyebrows, I'm going in with a lighter eyebrow pencil. I love to use a lighter shade at the front just because it helps everything blend together. And you want to make sure you brush through the brows as you go. Before I go in with some concealer, I'm taking my Kiss Eye Envy Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm just running it through her eyebrows. I like to use this to lay the hairs down and make sure they're not going all over the place. And to mold them in place, I'm taking the spoolie end of my eyebrow pencil. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with my Nika K Concealer and my RK by Kiss Concealer, and they're in the shades 07 and Toast. First, I'm going in with the Nika K Concealer, which was in the shade 07, and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. I love for the eyebrow arch to be highlighted, so that's why I love to take a lighter concealer to clean it up, and then for the rest of the way, I love to use a shade that'll blend in with their skin tone. So as y'all can see, I brought that concealer out a little over half the way. Now to finish everything off, I'm going to be going in with that RK by Kiss Concealer on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows. Now that the bottom is nice and crisp, I'm going to go ahead and blend those two concealers out. As y'all can see, we have one brow completed and it's looking nice and clean if I do say so myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to blend this concealer out. And once I have it all blended, I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side.
Now that both brows have been cleaned up, I'm taking my Dermablend Translucent Powder and I'm just going to be pressing this at the front of her brows to lighten them up. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Rose. I went ahead and applied it to her lids, now I'm blending it out. And y'all excuse these clips, but my phone ended up dying while I was applying this concealer to her eyes. But luckily I caught it in time to record the eyeshadow, so we're moving on. I'm taking my Morphe 35B palette and I used that purple shade from the palette and I'm just applying this to the outer edge of her eyes. You want to start applying the eyeshadow at the edge of your client's lash line and then just blend it right up underneath the arch. I hope this helps y'all. But next I'm taking this hot pink shade from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm applying this right on top of the purple shade as a transition. Now I'm going in with this dark purple eyeshadow from the palette and I'm going to be applying this directly to her crease. For her first layer shade, I'm going to be going in with this emerald green color from the palette and I'm just pressing this right in front of the dark purple shade that we used. I also want to point out that I did not clean off her lids with any concealer. I just went directly on top of them with this green color. This is a no cut crease look so it doesn't have to be neat. Everything just has to be blended. So now I'm going back in with that purple shade and I'm using it to blend out the edge of that emerald green. And now I'm going back in with that emerald green shade just to build the color back up. I'm going to be going in between the green and the purple shade with this vibrant blue shade just to help everything blend a little better. Now I'm going in with the matte white eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the inner corners of her eyes just to brighten them up a little bit more. For my glitter, I'm going in with this Is Me New York glitter and for my adhesive, I'm taking this glitter primer. I told y'all in another video that I purchased a pack of glitter from the dollar store and it came with this primer included and it is my favorite adhesive to use when working with fine glitters but unfortunately, I can no longer find it so it's probably discontinued so y'all probably won't be able to find it either but I know a lot of y'all love to know what I'm using so this is what it is. As you can see, I'm just pressing this on her eyes using this elf eyeshadow brush and then i'm gonna go in with the same brush to apply the glitter and just stamp it on To line her eyes, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and I'm just creating a regular line. I'm going to do my blown out wing technique. So yeah, if you haven't watched the video on that, then you're in luck because you get to see me do it in this video.
Now that I've lined both of her eyes, I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm using this to draw out a wing. I'm just taking it on this pencil brush and I'm just sketching it out and I'm going to go ahead and blend it back into the liner and this will just create a nice blended wing. Moving on to the face, I already went ahead and cleaned and moisturized her face off camera. Now I'm going in with some calamine lotion and I'm using this to prime her skin. So I'm going to focus this in her T-zone and then once I have it all applied, I'm going to go in with a damp Real Technique sponge and use it to press this product into her skin. For her foundations, I'm going in with these two Fit Me foundations in the shade Spicy Brown and Deep Golden. First, I'm going in with the shade Spicy Brown and I'm just applying this to the inner portions of her face because it's lighter. Now I'm going in with the shade Deep Golden and I'm just applying this to the edge of her face. Y'all, with this foundation combination, I did make her one shade lighter, but that was only because I knew I was going to go in and contour. So I'm taking my dense foundation brush and I'm using it to press these two foundations into her skin. To highlight her face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer and this is in the shade 07. I'm going to go ahead and apply the contour to her face and to contour I'm using my Julia's Place foundation stick in the shade Congo. I'm going to blend the concealer out first and to do so I'm going in with the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation. If you are interested in this brush I recommend you go see my cow print makeup tutorial that's where all of my brushes have been linked so make sure you go back to that video after you finish watching this one. To blend out her contour, I'm going in with the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation and her concealer and I'm just pressing everything in place.
to set the concealer in place i'm going in with my fit me press powder and this is in the shade toffee and i'm just taking it on my real technique sponge and placing it everywhere that we applied the concealer I'm going on top of that Fit Me powder with my Morphe Loose powder and this is in the shade Banana. To set her contour, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Press Powder and this is in the shade Black Coffee. To set the remaining areas of her face, I'm going in with another Black Radiance Press Powder and this one is in the shade Rich Mahogany. Moving on to her under eyes, I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm applying this to the edge of her lower lash line. Now I'm taking a purple eyeshadow and I'm just applying it directly in front of and around the edges of it just to blend it out. Once I have the shadow applied to her lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and apply her lashes and I cut them to fit her eyes off camera. I'm going in with that foundation brush and I'm going to use it to press in any powder that I have sitting on her face. Now I'm just going to spray her face with some setting spray to lock everything in. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the tip and the bridge of her nose using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm going in with this blending brush to help me diffuse the highlighter and then I'm going to take that same blending brush and use it to apply the highlighter to her face. Moving on to the lips, I forgot to show y'all what I used on camera, so I will include it in the description box. But I'm taking my LA Colors Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil, and I'm using this to line her lips because we will be doing an ombre lip. For the center of her lips, I'm going in with this lip gloss from Oz Lab. It's in the shade 01 and I purchased it from the beauty supply store. I applied it with a disposable lip wand and now I'm going to have her press her lips together so it can help me blend the lip gloss into the liner. And once I have it all blended and all applied, 
that'll be the finished look and we'll be getting into the grand reveal so i'm just gonna let y'all watch that Are you ready to see? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm free. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm gonna snap it up. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Teeth white and stuff. Look at me. Okay. I'm gonna snap it up. I'm, I'm gonna take pieces of Okay, queens, it's the end of the video. As you can see by her reaction, this tutorial was another success. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to see more content, feel free to follow me on Instagram. A link will be in the description box down below. Bye bye, queens.